Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Isaiah, aka Izzy. Uh, sorry, we're back with another video. In today's video, we're doing an MLP Road to the Show episode one video. And I was wondering what to do maybe a two way player or positional player. And we're about to choose a two way player. I want to be a pitcher and a hitter. We want to. So I can have more, you know, more things to do. I want to be, be, to, to be the best player in MLB history. We do fastball, and I like power. We do starting pitcher. We want to start with the pitcher, yeah. We want to try to maybe get a no hitter and get like a go deep and be a big hitter. We'll be second base. All right, guys, uh, we're back, and his name is. Bryham Friday starting pitcher, but also a power hitter 6 10. Yes, you heard me 6 10 the giant is here. We're back at it with another season of the road to the show podcast. I'm your host Ben Gelman today. We're focusing on the Major League Baseball amateur draft specifically on one of my diamonds in the rough. This is a player not a household name yet. There's a long way to go. Maybe not at the top of the draft class, but I, I think there's a real future at the major league level for this player. I have Hall of Fame outfielder Ken Griffey Jr. with me today. Ken, what advice would you give this player who might not be considered a sure thing to make it? What would you tell them as they begin their professional journey? Yeah, I mean, you have an opportunity. Anytime you have an opportunity to, to impress somebody, uh, uh, to go out there and, and do something, then you can do it. And, and they don't care, you know, who you are, what round, what this, what that. They just want you to go out there and play. And if you can perform day in and day out, you will be in the big leagues. With the MLB draft already underway, a young prospect shares his Okay. Friday, come on. Right him. I just want to play for a ball that wants me. Uh there's one team. You know what? I want to see whoever wants me wants me. Whoever wants me wants me. No favorite. No favorite you're pinning your hopes on. Uh, I want to be in a championship team, but uh, now nah, I'm good. I'll let them choose. I'll bring my team to a championship. That's probably the right best. Of course, I'm kind of expecting a car here. I don't want to tie you up. Good luck. Yeah, get out of my face, coach. Let's see who we get, y'all. Let's see Carlos, who we get. I'm scared, y'all. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources, my scouts, and they're all telling me. Are we hey, going number one, y'all? Actually, work. are we going number one? Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time. Let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's tough enough mentally here to adapt. That's a good play. I don't like know. that dude, man. That dream of Come on. The is now becoming reality with that one. Come on, don't get nervous. Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? The Phillies. I don't know what's the first name. I don't know the first name, but it's Phillies. Okay, we in the Philly. What? Are you kidding me? This is who we are drafting? You must be crazy. He is a career minor leaguer. He's not a major league player. We wasted a draft pick, a high one at that. Here, this is why we don't win. This is a terrible, terrible pick. Oh my goodness gracious! Come on, fellas. Do your work. Do some research. Awful, awful selection. I hate this pick. Christopher's a hater. All right, y'all. We're going to play our next game. First game, play next appearance. Let's see. Let's see if We're we play. We're talking about one of my favorite picks in this year's MLB amateur draft, and I'm joined by mental performance coach Kellen Lee. Kellen, what have you heard about this particular prospect? You know, I, when you sent over the list of, of people we're going to talk about, I had to do some extra research on this one. This is a guy that I, you know, flew under the radar and I really wasn't as familiar with. Uh, but after doing a little bit more research, uh, talked to some coaches, talked to the people that know him personally, it sounds like he's got some really strong intangibles. Sounds like he was a great teammate as an amateur player. And I would imagine that the organization perhaps did their homework a little bit and found out a little bit about him uh, that other teams didn't because it sounds like he brings a lot to the table on the, on the mental side of the game. And as Yogi Berra famously said, baseball is 90% mental. The other half is physical. Now, math on that aside, Kellen, 
how much has baseball emphasized mental toughness, mental development in recent years? Yeah, there's been a huge shift in a lot of the organizations and players are turning to the mental side of the game to be just a regular part of player development, all the way from the minor leagues, all the way up to the major leagues. Uh, some of those mental performance skills include building confidence, establishing routines, uh, setting really effective goals, maintaining motivation, visualization, the sky's the limit. But really what we know is that a really solid mental game allows these players to tap into their physical game more consistently. Yes, sir. The Redding fighting Bills. I'm going to try to get out of these little league, minor league stuff and get to the MLB quick. All right, y'all. 6 10. That's crazy. No swing. No swing. I'm not swinging. And this is on all, all, all star, I believe. So we may up it to all the fame if it's if I start hitting good. Ooh, very late. I suck at see see I suck at hitting. I'm always late. I don't know why. Spot, you got me. Come on Friday. Come on Friday. You can't strike out the first time. Is that deep? Is that deep? Is that deep? Get the fuck out of here. Friday, 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 let's go. First time at bat, D, D, let's freaking go. Come on, man. All right, second base. Come on. Come on, Friday. Right side. I threw it to the wrong person. Woo, I threw it to the wrong person. Scared me for a second. All right, Friday. Come on, Friday. Yes, sir. No swing. Woo. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. We can hit another home run. Let's hit, another, let's, hit another, let's hit another home run. Ooh, bad one. All right, all right, he got me, he got me. Fuck! That was my fault. I'm screwing up. My bad, my bad, my bad. There's no out. I s can you tap it? I'm tripping. We can't lose our first game. It's me. I'm tripping right now. Dang, I got six points. Damn. That was my bad. Is that deep? Is that deep? Hmm. My bad. 12,000 people in attendance. That's a lot. Dang. They had to see Friday. Good hit. Good, good base hit. Good base hit. Good base hit. Come on. Great base hit by Friday. By Friday. Come on. We got two hits. Okay. He got low speed though. Let's let's stay on this side. Let's stay. You got struck out, buddy. Damn. We probably lost the first game. We cannot lose another one. This is our second game, second uh, series, second game of the series. Dang, my bad. That was my bad. Okay, okay. Average 500 OPS. What does that mean, y'all? Just let me know. Let me know in the comments below. What's the average in OBI, whatever it said was. I think 500 is pretty good if you bat 500. Let's go. Good hit. Let's go. Friday is a goat, man. His average is 0 0.91. That has to be bad. 
another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Oh my gosh. Gets him easily. That's tough. Number 24. We're batting at 50%. Right now, right now. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Here comes the pitch. Popped up. Damn, popped it up. There's two people on base. Dang, Jesus come on, Friday. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know. And now, Trey Sweet. Now. The fourth come on. Two outs. On the ground, right side. There we go. Good out. Good out, man. So the batting average, I think I kind of get into the batting average. We need to get 50% at least. Come on. Is that deep? Mm. My bad. My bad. My bad, Friday. I wonder when I'm going to be a pitcher, y'all. When does that happen? I'm a two-way uh, player. Let's go. You're out. You're out. Friday's too good. You can't steal on Friday, man. Let's go. W's. We're taking W's. Barham, if you're looking to maximize your development as a hitter, the batting cage is open on off days too. Uh, is that mandatory? Your off days are your own, but a bit of extra time can commit you developing bat skills in different. All right. Improving your reaction time in the field can take you from defensive liability to game changer. 2008 Gold Glove Award winner Carlos Pena joins me. Carlos, what are some ways to improve your reaction time in the field and up your defensive game? You know, there's a big misconception here. People talk about, hey, uh, fielding is all about having great hands. But it starts at your feet. It's footwork. So how do you improve uh, that footwork, that first step is you always have to be in motion. So get going towards the pitch, towards the plate, uh, expecting a play. You're going to be quicker. You're going to have a quick first step, but you always have to be in motion. All right, y'all, this is round three, game three. Uh, we're going to try to take over, man. My bad average is 375. Mm. But. Hey, my batting average gonna go down, man. Out, double play, man. Come on, Friday. Friday, too good. Single scores too. He's scared. He's scared, man. You know what I did last time? I swan. Oh, that was a good. That was a good ball. She, she just set me up. Damn. Okay, come up. on. At the belt this one in the air right field. I still play the. It dropped. It dropped. Let's go. Good base hit. I'm telling you, Friday is the best hitter ever. Dang, I try to break it up. You see my big body try to break it up, but he threw around me. Okay. I got it. Mine. Mine. I said mine. Took my damn hit. Pussy. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's go. I got you, pitcher. I got you. You you go a perfect game. That's grounder. Run. Mm. Come on, we need to go a yard. We need to go deep. There's three three. We can't lose this any. We can't lose this. Uh. Mm, I waited. I waited too. Good hit. Ah, I, was, I reached for that one too. That's a bad one. 3-3, three, three, bottom of the 10th. I could win it right here. I could win it right here. You gonna walk it? You gonna walk me? You gonna walk? I swung. I swung on that. That was a ball. That was a ball. That was my fault. Uh, three, four. Let's, did we win? Let's go. We won. I'm gonna show you my batting averages and stuff, and then 
uh, we will end it right here. So, uh, I played at bats 13. I think that's three hits or no, four hits right here. Okay. Batty average is 30%, 0.30. So, let me know if that's a good. Is that good average? Is it the best? I don't know. We got one home run, three RBIs. That's not bad. That's not bad, but it just. OPS, I don't know what that is. Just let me know with all the stuff in the comments below. And I would have really appreciate it. Yeah, another thing before we end this video, uh every video we may play like one or two series, but for this one we ended it a little bit earlier. Just so we could we created our player and we did went through all the like the beginning. But uh, other than that, we're about to end the video right here. And I just really appreciate y'all tuning in and uh, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, and guess what? All I gotta say one more thing is peace.